Welcome back to the Lights Out Podcast, bedtime stories for boys and girls around the world. Good evening, boys and girls. Are you ready for bed? Are you all snuggled up and ready for another Lights Out bedtime story? Well, you're in for a treat tonight because we have part two of The Amazing Women Who Changed the World. The book actually is called Fantastically Great Women Who Changed the World by Kate Pankhurst. And this is every Wednesday. Last week we learned about Jane Austen, the amazing British author who never married and wasn't able to tell anybody that she was an author because back then it wasn't right for a woman to have a job, even if she was talented. And then tonight's fantastic woman who changed the world. Can you guess who it is? In the 1920s, this teenage Olympic medal winning swimming sensation from New York, USA, wanted to prove that a woman could complete a swimming challenge said to be as difficult and dangerous as climbing Mount Everest. Her nickname was Trudy and she wanted to be the first woman to swim across the freezing waters of the English Channel. People wondered if her plan was a length too far, especially as her first attempt in 1925 had failed due to bad weather. But she didn't give up. Let me tell you about the essential Channel Swimmer kit. She had a two-piece swimsuit. Rather than wear a heavy woolen swimsuit, this fantastic woman made herself one of the first two-piece bathing suits from underwear. Grease. Her body, whole body, was smothered in grease to keep her warm in the cold water. Ooh, bright red swimming cap. She wore this so onlookers could spot her in the waves. And she knew that three men had swum across the channel. And she knew that she could do it too. In August in 1926, aged only 19, this lady waded into the sea in France called the Chirio and set off on her second attempt to swim the English Channel. She used her strongest stroke, the American crawl, even though everyone said the breaststroke was better. She fought strong currents, ignoring people telling her that she must give up. She ate sugar cubes, even though people said that wasn't enough food, and kept her stroke in time by listening to her favourite song on a gramophone, and it was called Yes, We Have No Bananas. Finally, after swimming for 14 hours and 31 minutes, around 35 miles, she reached the English coast. She swam it her way and set a new record time, two hours faster than any of the men who had previously completed the swim. Back in New York, she made a big splash and crowds flocked to celebrate her enormous achievement. Who was this fantastically great woman who changed the world at only age 19? Well, Her name was Gertrude Adderley. And you've been listening to part two of Fantastically Great Women Who Changed the World on Wednesdays. And that's a book by Kate Pankhurst here on the Lights Out podcast. Bedtime stories for boys and girls around the world.